of course it hmm? Hello, hi, how are you? So it is currently Sunday, the 13th of October, and today I'm going to meet Lee Bardugo. So I figured it would be a great time to vlog. Um, because I haven't vlogged in a long time and I'm kind of going through like this a bit of a filming slump sort of thing. I'm also going through a reading slump, but we're not going to talk about that. It's 1030. I'm getting ready. My cousin and I are both going to go see. We're both going to go see her. Um, so I'm going to try to vlog the day, vlog some of the discussion, and of course vlog the signing. So it's the signing for Ninth House, if you guys don't know. Um, and also we get to take one other book from, or we get to take one other item for her to sign. So, I think if I can remember to take it, I'm going to take Crooked Kingdom. Because, um, Ari and I were having a discussion yesterday on Skype. And they were like, well, what's your, which one is your favorite book? And I said, probably Crooked Kingdom. So I'm going to get that one signed. Um, I'm just getting ready right now. I just got out of the shower. I did my hair. It's drying still, so that's why it looks like a little weird. Um, but I'm gonna get ready and yeah, not much going on right now. I'm just like charging everything, charging my portable charger. I'm gonna charge my phone right now. Uh, sorry that I keep on moving the light. Um, let me update you guys. Okay, I know I said I'm on like in a reading slump, but um, right now. Right now, I'm listening to the audiobook slash reading Five Midnight. Yeah, that's all for right now. I'm sorry that the light is changing like a little bit. It's like natural light, so like I'm, we're trying. Um, so I'm probably just gonna like vlog me getting ready because I don't know what else to vlog and it'll be a very long vlog with like no vlogging. So yes, I'm just gonna be getting ready right now and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. So it's a little bit after 12. I'm done getting ready. Um, my lips look bare because I don't have any lip gloss or anything on, but we're gonna fix that. This is the final look. Just really casual. Sorry about the mess. Um, 
probably gonna be leaving to my cousin's house in about 30 to 40 minutes because I don't really it does not that long to take to get there I kind of got ready a little too early but it's fine I might stop to get some Dunkin Donuts because there's no Starbucks on the way unfortunately so probably Dunkin Donuts but for right now I'm just going to be reading to pass the time um so yeah that's it <laughs> see you guys in a little bit Chicago. Wait. This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain.
me thinks. I'm gonna get this one. Also, cause like I really like these covers. Yeah. They call me adventure. The cover this cover, and then oh, this is one that oh, I was talking to Cat about that. But this one, I really am excited to read. <laughs> Do you know why? Cause it's enemies to lovers. The superior tropes. And then this one I heard is spoopy. Like very spoopy. Like it's not even spoopy, it's spooky. <laughs> Gee, that's so pretty. What? Oh, oh yeah. Where did I hear about this book? Oh. Someone spoke about this on YouTube. On YouTube. And I can't think of who it was now. And this one is like, seems like there's a renaissance bear. And I love that idea. Like nah. I mean, he's like nah. No, it's him, actually. His family's the Renaissance there. No, I'm saying, but right here. That's cute. Interesting. I got a Christian book last time. Oh. <laughs> it was a Christian mystery book. And I was like, oh. Weird. Was it good? Did I didn't read it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds kind of intriguing. They were like, you got a free book. And I was like, okay, cool. And it was a life inspired one. Like, that's the, the publishing house. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm like oh, yeah, it's a, it's a Christian one. I was like, huh. I, like, I don't want to read it. <laughs> no, because I thought it was a romance one. I was like, I like smut. Attention Barnes & Noble shoppers, the time is 7.45 and our bookstore will be closed in just 15 minutes. At this time, please make your final selections and bring them to the cashier on the store. Don't let my mind rest. <laughs> this is also last call for beverages in the cafe. Once again, the time is 7.45. The bookstore closes in just 15 minutes. Hey everyone, so it is currently about to be 10 o'clock. Um, I got home about 20 minutes ago. So I thought I would do like a little bit of talking about what happened because to be honest, I really didn't do much vlogging. Um, I was kind of just basking, not really, but I was just like, <sighs> vlogging wasn't so much what I was really concentrating on today. Also like um, a lot of it was just driving. So there wasn't as much opportunity opportunities opportun there wasn't as much opportunities to vlog so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what happened so obviously my cousin and I got to the signing um, there my cousin actually didn't have the um, general admission ticket that one sold out after or that one sold out before she was able to buy her ticket so she only had the signing only so um, I went there and I ended up meeting Cat, I can't remember her Twitter name, but I'm going to leave it right here. Um, and I'm going to leave her link, her Twitter in the description because she doesn't have a booktube channel. But she's really great, honestly. Like, she's like one of the people that I really remember meeting first on Twitter uh, in the book community. Well, she was like, Well, I'm gonna be there, so we should meet up. And I was like, Yeah, it would because, like, it's kind of crazy that people live near me that are like a part of this community. Um, so met her it was really cool to talk to her she's really nice um and she watches my channel so thanks cat um so we were talking for a little bit and then you'll have seen one clip of lee because i kind of just wanted to watch it as well and then also i would kind of i still get a little self-conscious about vlogging so i was kind of like 
hiding it and the camera near me so that way like I also I didn't want to be in anybody's way the people behind me um so but you saw one question she answered and then also the signing which was surreal to be honest I really can't believe that I met Leigh Bardugo I told her you guys have seen I showed her my tattoo she wanted to take a picture of it so she did um and then she well I told her about Nick Nack um so that was really fun I'm very today was just really crazy so afterwards my cousin and I went to go eat because I was starving <laughs> no I was very very hungry I hadn't eaten I don't I think I ate like a granola bar before I left to go to my aunt's house and that was very early um and not very fulfilling so I was starting to get like a headache because like also I think I was like a little anxious to meet her I don't know I was like feeling a lot of tension so I was starting to get a headache because of that and then I'm sure not eating didn't help but there we ate. we ended up going to Barnes and Noble so I'll show you guys the books that I bought there which you all have also seen me clip there's really gonna be more like little montage this is gonna be a very short vlog um so let's first show you what I got signed um so obviously I have ninth house and it's we got this like really cool bookmark which this is actually pretty good quality and then here's the little so you can put your name on there but here it is it says Jessica <laughs> That's kind of crazy. The lighting was just bothering me. This is not much better, but I don't feel like putting on the that. I don't feel like putting that on. Um, so I got that signed, and then I also got I got Crooked Kingdom signed, which that's awesome. So that's what happened, and then Barnes and Noble. Let me show you what I got. So Barnes and Noble, I got four books, three romance, one horror book. So let's start with the horror book. So for horror, I got The Rust Maidens by Gwendolyn Keith. Um, we're back. I my brother was making a lot of noise in the kitchen, so I decided to take off my sweater because I gotta get ready for bed soon. But um, so. The Rust Maidens is about, uh, it's set in 1980 um, in Cleveland, Ohio. It's about two girls, Phoebe Shaw and Jack and her friend Jacqueline. They um, just graduated high school and they're kind of going through this what next thing, which I'm sure many of us who are out of school um, went through. So in their neighborhood, the girls that Phoebe and Jacqueline grew up with, they're going through these really weird changes. So first there are these like dark footprints of water that are just like in the pavement that come that appear in the morning. Um, and then slowly each girl's body slides, just they just begin to wither away. Um, their fingernails turn into broken glass and their bones are exposed like corroded metal underneath their skin so as the news spreads about these transformations the town gets like this huge like jump in tourists and doctors um trying to figure out what's going on so the girls are called the rust maidens and nobody knows what's going on like even like people from the government try to like figure out what's going on with them but Again, nobody knows what's going on. What, is, what are the explanations for this? Except for 
the girls themselves maybe so it seems like the girl the rust maidens are like whispering amongst themselves and phoebe realizes that it seems like they're preparing for something that's going to happen that can in tear their neighborhood apart so i guess the story goes between past and present and phoebe is really trying to figure out what's going on what is the cause of the rust maiden so it seems like she possibly has a role in this that there's a reason and she is in the middle of it so she's doing everything to save her home her best friend and her own body so this seems like it's a bit body horror if you guys remember me discussing wilder girls i enjoyed the that sounds a little weird but the body horror aspect was something that was so intriguing to me it was actually one of the pluses for the for wilder girls um so i'm hoping that the Rust Maidens will bring that thing that I was looking for in the Wilder Girls. So, yes. And it's only less than, it's less than 300 pages long. So I know I can get that, it's no problem. So next book that I got is Well Met by Jen DeLuca. This is about um, a girl named Emily. She moves to a town, a small, very small town called Willow Creek to help her sister but she ends up getting volunteered to help with the local uh renaissance thing it seems like she's not into it which is funny because i th you know what i think it would be so cool to join a renaissance fair to like participate in one um there she meets simon who is a school teacher and it seems like she does not care for him she finds him like irritating and annoying um there's just something about him that draws her attention simon's family seems like they had a really major part in the fair like starting it so it's in his legacy so when he's outside of the fair it seems like he's like very serious by the rules kind of guy but when he's actually at the fair he turns to this completely different person he's more flirtatious especially towards emily um so there's like this chemistry thing that's going on and they have to figure out is it just something that's like with their characters or is it actually them this book this book honestly seems so cute honestly i feel like i should have read it during the summer it seems like it would have been a really cute book but it's fine honestly these feel good romance books are something that can be read and enjoyed whenever so excited to read that next i got bringing down the duke by ev dunmore um it's, you know what's interesting is like this seems this has like a typical new adult cover but this is set in 1879 so this is historical romance it's about a girl named annabelle archer she's one of the first female students in oxford university so she has a scholarship to go to oxford so one of the stipulations for her scholarship she has to get a man of influence to champion the rising women's suffrage movement so it seems like she decides to target the duke of montgomery it seems like he has a lot of clout for british politics it seems like he turns around and just gives her another offer it seems like the offer is of the romantic somewhat kind we'll see from there how it goes i actually don't think i've heard a lot about this book but y'all know i love romance y'all know i love historical romance so that one just seems so good and last book that i got is a book that i am so excited to own and that is faker by sarah smith i know mel from mel to the any was talking about this book because i be i believe i could be wrong um i think this was written by i believe sarah smith is filipino um, I don't know. I'm really hoping I'm not getting that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so this is about a, about a woman named Emmy. She, um, she's one of the only female employees at Nuts and Bolts, which is a power tool company. And she's like in charge, I believe. So basically she has to don this persona every time she goes into work to be this like, powerful takes no shit from no nobody woman in reality she's very easygoing she is the complete opposite of the 
of her work life. One thing she does not have to fake is her annoyance and disdain for her coworker. His name is Tate Rasmussen. It seems like he's been kind of a dick to her since she started. She's it's like she was pretty friendly and like always trying to like, you know, get to know him. At least not be friends, but like be cordial. And it seems like he's always like denying it. They end up having to work together for this charity construction project and things start to heat up. These are the four books that I got. Um, and then just ninth house I'm so excited I'm today was just today was just a surreal day and again this is gonna be a really short vlog most likely so I'm sorry if you guys really just wanted to see more Lee Bardugo honestly that whole part went by super quickly um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like comment subscribe if you do and we'll see you in my next one bye